Hello there, lovely Pathway members. As promised, I'm coming on with a really exciting update to help you teach shape. And it's going to be circles specifically today, but we will also be looking in the future at triangles, at quadrilaterals and other aspects of teaching shape, of course, both 2D and 3D. So I'm going to take you over to our impact group. Now, impact are the next stage on from Pathway, and you all have the option to join whenever it suits you to do so. If you want to know more about impact, I'm going to add some details to the left hand menu of your library. So just look under the frequently asked questions, FAQs, and you can find out more information there about the difference between impact and Pathway. But here I am in the Impact Lounge. So as a Pathway member, your area to meet and talk is the three to five group and the Impact members get their own exclusive lounge. So we're in there now. And what I'm gonna do is, I hope you all know about this um, option. If you don't, this is really helpful. When you want to look for something on any of my groups, so if you're on the three to five group, use the little magnifying glass here and type in, for example, circles, or calendars or self-registration or a person's name if you know they post great things and you will then get all of their things in one place or all of the topics related to that word in one place. So I've already done this this morning and this is the lady that I'm going to share the work of and it's Claire Kent. Now Claire is relatively new to Impact. She came in in the autumn term and she has absolutely hit the ground running. She's done an amazing job. So this is the lovely Claire. Now I'm sure you're distracted instantly by what Claire is doing and wondering what on earth is going on in these videos. And that's what I'm gonna share with you. But I just wanna point out Beth and Claire here is one of my amazing EY Maths team members. And she posted a video of a guy, one of those classics sort of TikTok or Reels where he had his, his stomach flat on the chair as you can see Claire there. And he had, I think it was some sort of tool in his hand that was um, motorized and the motorized tool was moving and making the person turn on the chair. So this was the inspiration that we had. This is the kind of conversations we have on impact. So we had been looking at the fact, and I'm going to direct you towards this in your pathway library, but we've been looking at the fact that circles are created when we pivot from a central point, as Claire is brilliantly modeling there, and you keep the same distance from that central point ahead of yourself in a straight line. And when you move, when you rotate, that will create a circle. So that what we're doing here is we're helping our children understand what circles are, not just how to recognize them, but how are they created? What is the mathematics behind this? And these children are reception age. So if you're not in, the, in England, that is four and five year olds, and they are so capable of learning the right stuff when we do it like this. They want to know how things are constructed. So we've got another little video here. So the child knows she's got to keep her arm at the same distance. And you can see the chair's helping with that. And there she is making a circle. I mean, look at the excitement in the background. Look at this. Can you see the other child? Look at this. When she, when she finishes the circle, look at that reaction. So we're kind of going back in time here. But here is um, some more work that Claire did as well. If I go back here. Oh, actually, yes. Gosh, there's so much to show you. A big part of EY Maths, if you're new to us, is I just stress the importance of noticing. As a human being, you are designed to notice because it keeps you safe. Your brain's never going to stop noticing unless you, you know, really work hard to ignore life around you. Children are primed to notice their world. That's why they stop and pick things up. That's why they ask questions constantly. We are the luckiest people in the world to teach early years because they come in like this. And it's only children who have had particularly traumatic experiences or maybe a specific special need that won't be like this. So noticing in the sky, as you can see above Claire's school, she said, like, you couldn't have made it up. Look at what this aeroplane had been doing. And this idea about, you know, what's happening and where are we spotting these things? So if I move up here, um, so this is what Claire's been sharing with the impact members here about exploring circles. You know, how do you see it? What do you notice? So these are questions here. If I click on this one, these are questions we use for um, for subitizing, but Claire has taken these in the broader sense and said, what do you see? What do you notice? How do you see it? And I'm going to show you, if you haven't found it already, the training that Claire followed that I shared with, with her and with all of you that you can use to go on exactly the same journey. 
So here are the children. We knew that having something that was sturdy and rigid is really important here. And of course, what you're creating is the beginnings of understanding how a pair of compasses work. So here, this idea, and I always say, try out the maths yourself first, because then you'll understand what will be a challenge. You'll understand what the children will need to know first. Don't not give them challenges because they love a challenge and it makes the learning more purposeful. But you might realize when you do it yourself about the amount of equipment you need or how they will sit like these children are here. And you will allow these problems to occur and be resolved in your planning. So look at this, Claire saying about the children. So these children are four and five talking about circumference, radius and diameter. Now, Claire hasn't set out for them to learn those names. She set out for them to understand circles. And when the children have started asking questions about what's this, what are we doing? She's given them the right words. Think about Tyrannosaurus Rex. I always use this example. Tyrannosaurus Rex, full on Latin for the name of a dinosaur. No three or four year old I've ever met struggled with it. So don't ever mistake your own experiences of learning and the fact that we weren't taught to understand things. We were taught to remember things in by recall, by memorization. Remembering things because you've done them is what's the difference between what I call memory and memorization. And these children are learning through experience. So they're gonna remember, they're making sense. Their brains are building incredible links. So Claire's work, so inspiring. There's back to the video there. And if you do ever decide to come and join us in Impact, Claire is um, a, an amazing sharer. You can see here, this was one of our sessions we did recently as Impact members about setting up goals for our own personal and professional development during the year. So I took the group through that and these are all recorded. We've got lots of sharing with the wonderful EY Maths calendars and Christmas countdowns. Now, everything Claire is doing here is available to you in Pathway. So go and have a look. Let's have a look at this together. I'm just going to come off the share and take you into another. Let me just make sure I'm in the right place. So if you're a Pathway member, we're going to log in up here. And when you're inside here, you've got your main Pathway library and you've also got the bonus materials. I'll just quickly remind you about this. Coming up next month, we are doing our termly challenge. And at every term, I'll do a number sense challenge with you. And this term coming up in February, it will be a naught to 10 challenge. But this one is the challenge that was in the autumn term. This is our one to five super subitizing challenge. So do make sure you've accessed this because it is gonna change your teaching literally from day one in a way you will never wanna go back. You're gonna love this. So do make sure you prioritize that. So that's a bonus, but this is your main pathway library. And I'm gonna to go to areas of maths. I'm gonna to go to teaching shape and I'm gonna to go to teaching essentials. So every time I teach you the main subject knowledge you need in order to be able to teach your children well, so exactly what Claire's been doing, it's gonna be called teaching essentials. So if we go to that, what you've got that makes EY Maths so different, there are many reasons we're very different, but one of the reasons is if I download this here first okay so i'm not sure you can see that so i'll come to that in a moment but the video the download that i've just downloaded this video here if i mute this so it doesn't suddenly start being very loud what this video does and i'll move it forward is i talk you through the handout itself and I tell you exactly what I meant when I wrote what I wrote and I take you through so there's a little 15 minutes actually 14 minute video for you there and what we've also got let's do this is you have then got the handout so this is the handout I talk you through so this is where Claire learned everything that she used to do that amazing lesson an amazing series of lessons this is the inspiration that I gave Claire for what do you see how do you see it and of course Claire being an impact member she is attending sessions with me she's watching training she's talking to the other members all the time so she is absolutely running with this she doesn't need me to guide her step by step she needs these great foundations to her knowledge and then she runs with it and comes on the on the group and talks about what she's doing seeks inspiration and support from the other members seeks advice from me and achieves as you saw just incredible results 
So I hope that is helpful, everyone. Um, I think I'm going to finish by going back to Claire. So let's see if I go in the right place here. Okay, so I'll pause it there. And a massive thank you to Claire. She not only willingly shared this in our wonderful Impact Lounge, but when I contacted her and said, can I share this more widely with Pathway members? She said yes. She also then sent me a video link as well. So I am so grateful to Claire. And take it, everybody, that everything you need to do this brilliantly, just like Claire has, it's about your subject knowledge. It's about your pedagogical knowledge, how children learn. There are no quick fixes. You cannot just sit yourself on a chair and start drawing a circle. Your children will do that, but they will not go on the journey that Claire's children have, go on, have gone on. So say to yourself, are you willing to understand the mathematics? Are you willing to learn what you were never taught yourself? Are you willing to create experiences that build from your understanding and en enable your children to have a passion and knowledge about maths that you were never given yourself? If you're willing to do that, you have every single tool you need in the Pathway Library. And when you find yourself running with it like Claire is and my other members, have a think about if impact is the place for you because literally impact you will go from being excited to thriving in a way that you never thought was possible. So I'm really, really hoping that that has inspired you, everyone. I will add more things to the Pathway Library in the Shape section as we move forward. In Impact, um, we are starting to look at other aspects of Shape as well. So I think we're going to be moving on to Triangles next, and we will have information appearing in your Pathway Library for that as well. All right. Be inspired, make sure it's you that's the learner, and I can't wait to hear how you get on.